taken by that person. I'll just uh, wait for these two old ladies to... Uh... Yeah, she's kind of blocked, they've kind of blocked our view though. We were just watching a guy who did the thing where he hadn't measured his car and then he was trying to put pipe in his car and you could see on his face he was doing the whole... This, I'm, I'm sure that I've designed this to fit and it didn't fit. It's, that guttering was not going to fit in his mm. car. And was, then, oh, it's out the window. He's gone for the out the window approach. And he's gone for the, I'm a stressed man, I'm fed up, this job should have only taken me half an hour, and now I'm a third hour and I'm pissed off. Yeah, I'm not sure that's safe and legal. Well, he'll find out when he goes down bypass. Anyway, good morning. But yes, good morning. <laughs> that's good morning oh, we've just peaked afternoon. Emma wasn't going to do this, by the way. Emma was just going to go straight into being cute and she forgot about it because she do not like you anymore. I forgot about vlogging. No, don't forget, I just, sometimes I just like to just take the day. Sometimes I just like to absorb We've had the day. a day thus far where you've been out and you're happy. My car's full of rotting wood. Yeah, Emma. I woke up in a very grumpy mood, not sure why. Sometimes that happens. Maybe it's a female thing. Oh, oh, Sam's messing with the uh, stability of the camera. Yeah, I was in a grumpy mood, don't know why, it just happens. Um, Hormonal, I don't know, maybe. And yeah, I was in a foul mood. But I'd arranged to pick up some wood for the allotment from someone off Facebook. And then on the way back, there was a garden centre. So we popped into the garden centre. Mm. Light up cloggies. Size is 7 to 12, but I'm a size adult 6, so. Excuse me, <laughs> Emma Rogers is in a happy environment. <laughs> You're filming them and I was about to trump. <laughs> Got that on camera as well. <laughs> Big old uh, Fletcher's skip over there. Shout out. Not, hashtag not spawn. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to understand. No. <laughs> And you've never been the happy, you're the happiest I've ever seen you. Because I can buy shit like this. Little planters for my garlic and onions in the allotment. But, you know, this, that's what makes me happy. Buying random shit. It's the, uh, the Bakewell dream. <laughs> I get it from me nana. Anyway. You're, so all, we... you're all like magpies. <laughs> you're all magpies. You see something that's utter tat and you like mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went to the garden centre, bought some bits, and then we went and there was a nice, well we could smell the cafe, couldn't we? It did smell, it smell. They were doing breakfast, I think that's what we could smell. Mm. But we had a little coffee and a little cake, so I had key lime pie. You had? Bakewell tart. Bakewell tart. Big, big, big bakewell tart. And so that was that, and then now we've come to being cute. Just because we need a rubber mallet. Love being cute. Mm. And then we're going to go up to the allotment, drop this wood off, and go home. That's today. <laughs> That's it. Ali! Anything else to catch you up on? Oh! I've bought a car! Oh. I've bought a car! Emma's bought... Well, I've not bought a car. Emma's waiting, <laughs> Emma's waiting car. for said vehicle. Peugeot E208 GT. GT. Top of the range. Because... I saw the deal online and I was like, oh, that seems cheap. Blah, blah, blah. Similar email off. He's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he rang me yesterday to say to finalise it. And he went, oh, we actually put it on the internet for the wrong price, but... Because of the law. We've got to honour it. So I'm getting my bargain car. So that'll be cool. Don't know mm. when. Soon. They'll probably delay it for so long that you'll uh, <laughs> not get it. No, it's two to four weeks. Big time. So that's fun, fun, exciting. It's currently with Jacques at the start of the Peugeot line. <laughs> anyway, I'm really full actually. That bakewell tart was huge. It was a Slap. slipping slab of bakewell tart. Anyway, let's go to being cute. Let's go! Bike, bike, scoo, scoo! Hello. Oh. 
You're okay. going to haunt your dreams. Hello. Twelve people immediately unsubscribed. Yeah. Anyway, we're back from the allotment. Back from being q Went to the allotment after being you. Back from there. Sam's just about to put some I cheese. I bought this a while ago from them. Um, I think it was in last time's vlog. Oh, was it? Oh, well, yeah. There you go. Still, still not eating it, for reference. It's not gone off, don't worry. Which is provolone cheese. A provolone. Little, a little dish. He's going to put With that in the oven. Oregano. And then he's going to dip some sausages in it. Some dipping sausage. These have also got cheese in. So, that's Sam's lunch. Having a starter. <laughs> Do you want some? It's not like that. No, I'm alright. Um, yeah, I'm excited to also try some. What's the matter? Ted's so excited for the sausages. You love sausages, don't you, Ted? Might not be any sausages from three. And cheese. And that's uh, us so far. How? Oh. oh, Sam watched the qualifying. I'm still watching the qualifying. Is it still going on? Mm. Oh, well, we're watching the qualifying. <laughs> seems to go on forever, it seems. And that's all I've got to update you on. Bye-bye. So I'm gonna give you some context before I show you what's happening outside. <laughs> we basically stole a load of worms from the allotment. <laughs> We took a load of worms from the allotment because we live on a new build plot, right? New build estate, you'll know this if you watch the vlogs. And our garden is shit. Our soil is shit. I'm just giving some context. So I feel like without context, it won't make sense. So, <laughs> sounds like what you're doing. So we stole worms from the allotment to aerate our soil. I can't really explain it more than that. Worms are good for soil. Stay there. Oh, you've done now. So Sam was putting worms on the garden. Well, you know, you can only help. A worm. This is where I walk away and we look back and all birds go, oh my God. Yeah, we suddenly get an influx of birds. So. That's the weird and wonderful life of uh, Ever and Sam today. We stole worms well, we and we put them on the garden. They were, right for hours to take. <laughs> they were on our allotment plot. But maybe there, you know, our allotment plot is not on this the same area of the town. What if they're used to that other area and now we've stolen them from their home? <laughs> and they don't like Ignore us. The doctor, don't, yeah, just, you know. We live a normal life. We don't clean up every dog poo straight away. <laughs> it's very weird <laughs> to be just putting worms around. I mean, they were there. Do you know, in like six months' time, well, not be six months, but you know, next year when all the soil's beautiful yeah. and nice and grounds just working with yeah. us. Some of the worms don't look like they've transferred very well in the bucket. Well, that's what happens when you do it, Emma. <laughs> From worms to sausages. Oh, yes. Little, little dinner. Little snacky little, snack. Little, little snack. You're not getting any. He's already had some. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's his lot. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 indeed. It's a taste test. It's going to be hot in it. Oh, it's very stringy cheese. Oh, <laughs> God. Confirmed lava.
Confirmed. Mm. Confirmed delicious. Sausage and cheese. It was right. always going to be good. That's what you're doing. Yeah, it's for sharing. Come on, then, to go sit down and share it. So, sausages. 10 out of 10, would eat again. Ted also enjoyed some of the leftovers. He's there sniffing the bin. Need to empty that. And I am going to get on with some garden garden bits. Gardeny bits? Gardeny growy bits? I don't know. Um, basically, I've been planting some seeds in little modules, in little seed trays um, for winter veg. You'll know that we like like growing vegetables and stuff and we have our little vegetable patch which I'll show you in a minute um, in our garden as well as the allotment we started in our garden and carry on in, I want to carry on in the garden and some of that is ready to be planted out so taken from the little module seed trays and put on on its own little plant um, if that makes sense so I'm going to do some of that um, just as a nice little activity I think me and Sam are both a little bit I don't know, low energy today. Low, low beans. We were going to go out tonight, but don't want to. <laughs> don't want to now. So we're going to stay in and have a cosy night instead, which is absolutely fine. Um, so Sam's gone to play his bass upstairs because that's a hobby he enjoys. I'm going to do some gardening because that's a hobby I enjoy. Ted's probably going to chill with me in the garden. Aren't you, mate? Just sniffing the sausages in the bin. I'll take that out as well. <laughs> Stay. Oh, is it? Ah, it's windy. This is what we've got growing at the moment. This is charred. These are broccolis, but let's be honest, the slugs have uh, just had a feast there. That's a courgette plant that's not doing anything. Um, yeah, basically, basically that's it. <laughs> oh, that's a strawberry that's giving us strawberries, apparently. Just to be clear, I'm pretty sure nothing that I planted then is going to grow. And I've got muck all over my face. Wow, well done me. I think I'm going to go and have a shower. <laughs> my hands are... Filthy. The jeans, also filthy. Apparently pink jeans, not for gardening. Fun, not for gardening. Um, so yeah, I don't think any of that's going to grow. It is the 16th of September. Oh, Sam's, Sam's uh, doing things. So I don't think any of it's going to grow, but I've planted it now, so that's that, isn't it? What's the worst that can happen? Let me show you something that is growing really well inside. <laughs> Come back to house plants where I feel nice and safe and like I know what I'm doing. These, this is a mini rose bush and Sam got it me from I think a supermarket um, a couple of years ago I think and it's got two little rose buds on. I think the hot weather last week really confused it so it's throwing out new buds. This is a lemon tree that I grew from an actual seed from an actual lemon. So as I was saying, the camera was weirdly not in focus. This is a lemon tree that I grew from a lemon. From, from a, this is a lemon tree that I grew from a seed, like an actual seed out of a lemon. And now it's grown into a little lemon sapling. And we recently put this in a bigger pot and put it on the windowsill. And it's doing fantastically. My fiddle leaf fig also doing fantastic look at this new shiny leaf that is like a perfect leaf that's got a bit of a lean on but it's okay it's doing really really well i'm so pleased this was you can see like the history of the leaves that this was not doing so well and now it's back to back to life and the final plant i will show you the indoor plant is my wonderful cheese plant, Monstera cheese plant. Um, it threw out this leaf the other day. What a perfect, perfect cheese plant leaf. It is literally like, if you're gonna draw a cheese plant leaf, that's what you draw. It's literally perfect and it's so green and it's so big. Oh, it just loves this window. It just absolutely loves 
sitting in this window so yeah it's also got all these weird like triffid <laughs> war of the world's roots on it that have just been shoving into the ground but yeah this is doing so well if i ever get if i ever get upset with the outside plants and growing stuff outside and everything being eaten by slugs i just come to my wonderful world of indoor house plants that were my first love <laughs> and i actually know what i'm doing with them <laughs> so <laughs> i just come back to those and feel a bit better about myself anyway what time is it let me look at what time it is what time it is <laughs> half past five okay yeah i'll have a shower have a shower and that is uh, what i will do hello <laughs> we have been literally nerding out for the last hour two hours yeah we're playing the game that we play together probably the longest we've played again um and sons of the forest by the way if you're a nerd like us and we oh i've had a shower <laughs> um playing the game and now sam's got got peckish peckish tendencies because we didn't have tea because we were full from the sausages what i'd really like is if you could just like order like papa john's or domino's sides Ah, without having a minimum spend. Yeah. Yeah. If you just do that. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like the uh, cheesy garlic knots from Papa John's, please. Or the chicken the garlic sauce. <laughs> but alas, the world is not built for us. Well, I bet you could do that in America. Take America at takeaways is way better. No one cooks food in America. Anyway, you look very sad on the floor there. Yeah. You nothing tickle any pickle? Not really. Not tickle any fancy. Might have a fish finger sandwich. Fish fingers, I don't buy fish fingers. I am gonna have not that I'm particularly hungry to be honest. Maybe some leftover gnocchi from last night. I mean that's about all you can eat. With some chorizo, maybe. A little bit of parmesan. What's that? Probably eating slugs. His favourite thing to do at the minute is chase daddy long legs. That's his new favourite pastime. So, enjoy. Enjoy that bit of knowledge. Can we help you? You look awfully sad out there. Look awfully sad out there, we're on your own in the dark. So let you in. Come on. Hello. Oh, who's this one of the moment you want? Is he the spit in the bloody? <laughs> Adam tells me you don't want to do the scene. This can't be a part of something I don't believe in. Look, I know what Simon did. Oh, okay, when I got fired, I tended my way through Barcelona. Everyone in that city ate my paella. Fuck the guy with Alfred Zayda. I got through it. And so will you. Yeah, but I'm still making it. <laughs> and Ted said, it's my bed now. Oh, he's going to be on the floor, shall we? Just for reference, he doesn't always sleep like this. Emma would have it like this if she could. But me. No, he normally sleeps downstairs, but as a special treat, if Emma's oh. had a gin, he gets to sleep upstairs. And on that note, anyway, Saturday is done. Yeah. Boop. Tip another garden center we just love garden centers that's what happens now i'm 26 i've crossed the barrier into adulthood and you just spend all your weekends at garden centers mm -hmm. but we're going uh, sam's only going because for my birthday they sent me a voucher for two free hot drinks and two free cakes or scones so my chance it'll be one and a half free cakes <laughs> i never eat a full cake but yeah so 
that's why we're going for my birthday because I'm signed up to the uh, Dobby's special members special yeah. thing so they sent me it's like club card but for Dobby's so they sent me a, a voucher so that's what we're doing today but we've got to zoom zoom and get back because the Formula One's on later of which Sam cannot possibly miss it Never, ever. <laughs> that's what we're going to do I have been to three garden centres, four if you count being Q in the last week. That's a lot. Busy bee. <laughs> uh. It's like deja vu. Only from yesterday. <laughs> Don't shake the baby. It's fine, look at it. Got nothing to lose, have you? Got no brain cells in there! Nothing lost, nothing gained. Got no brain cells in there, have you? You silly. How's he got second? Because he's stayed out. He didn't pit. Yeah, but he's still got to pit. And his tyres are 21 laps older than everybody else's. I'm not a Max Verstappen fan. I don't know if you can tell. Where's my man Alonso? Eighth. Eighth. In the absence of Daniel Ricciardo, Alonso's my only hope now. How do you find a Zoom Zoom cars? You Ooh. don't care. Don't care. Don't care. So, Formula One's hotting up. Your man's just got a penalty. Oh, Alonso? Is he being naughty? He always is a bit naughty, Alonso. Anyway, I'm popping to the allotment and I'm going to leave Sam in the capable hands of Ted. He's living. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go do some gardening. Gardening. Also, when we were at the garden centre, I did a thing that I've never done before in my life. I asked for a discount. Because I got these plants, some cauliflower, and these two were missing. And so I asked for a little cheeky little discount, and she looked a bit confused. But then. Quick video to the old manager. <laughs> gave me 50% off. I've never done that before in my whole entire adult existence. Never have I ever asked for a discount. But. I could do these things, didn't you? This is growing up. I guess this is growing up. Asking for discounts on plants. Oh, look at Ted. <laughs> You're so happy all the time, aren't you? Nothing makes Ted sad. Well, no. Oh, when we leave. <laughs> That's the only time, eh, Bert? Bert? Ted Bert. I just shortened Ted's nickname. I know. <laughs> you alright, Bert? Oh, birdie boy. <laughs> You'll now notice I am at home. Looks slightly different. I've had a shower, washed my hair, so I'm just watched the Formula One. Yeah. And you hoovered, to be fair to you. Carpet scrapered and hoovered, his new favourite thing. Did oh, and cut the grass. Sorry, did all the boy chores. Um, <laughs> and did the dishwasher and washed up. And did the dishwasher and washed up. All right, all right. Do you want 10 points? I do actually. Okay. Because it's a rare moment for me though. You can have 10 points. Yay. Um, and for tea, it's gusto. It's Sunday, it's gusto. Sunday gustos. We're having enchiladas. These ones. Which look nice. They do look nice. Um, Ted thinks of them. What do you think? Ted would obviously like to have some chicken enchiladas, but alas, you're having dog food. So. Uh, having biscuits. And that's all we've got to say. It's been a bit of boring. We're in weekend, isn't it? Just garden centres. And that's it. Yeah, but it's, we've been happy about it. Yeah. Anyway. Cook tea now. Nom nom. So whilst Emma's been making tea, I've had a bit of a standoff in the garden at the minute. There's been a pigeon eating our bird feeder, which is just above Ted. And then said pigeon 
Ted has been scaring some pigeon off, and it was hiding up there, but as you've just seen, it's floating off now. You know, Ted's obsessed with something. <laughs> Caught you red handed there, didn't you? Come on, come here. Wait. Hey, he's gone. Ted, come on, let's go. So, we've picked some uh, food from the garden. Garden, vegetable, greenhouse, from the garden. <laughs> That's tomato, very tomato. <laughs> And I'll insert a picture of what we picked, but we're going to make a salad with some of the stuff because you have to eat it quite fresh because it's not full of preservatives. Shocking. Mm. So this is a tomato. We've got uh, spring onion. We did have salad leaves, but they're a bit past the best, so they've gone to the rabbits. <laughs> We've got cherry tomatoes and a pepper. Spring onion oil, putting this into a little salad. Should we try? Have you tried the tomato? Yeah, it's very tomato. It's nice, tomato. Mmm, it's like sweet. Mm -hmm. It does taste different to the stuff you get at the shops. I know that sounds silly. It does. But it genuinely does. I mean, when we had that yellow tomato earlier on in the year, that was very nice. Mmm. It tastes a lot like fresher. Well, it's kind of a cliche, but yes, it does. It does. And it, I don't know. On this. Um, yeah, it does taste a lot better. What do you think, mate? Ted usually likes tomatoes. He, he oh, liked it. Gone. Immediately gone. So, great success. Here's your meals. And no time has passed. I can never get enchiladas out properly. They never. Always a tricky. Let's go around the sides. I would just end the vlog because we're about to go to bed and I've forgotten to vlog anything today. Why does the camera not want to focus? I don't know. I don't know why that's doing that technology. It's not my friend. So, what have we been doing? Uh, I've had a, well, I've had a pretty relaxing Sunday. You went to the allotment, which in your own right is your relaxing thing. Yeah, it's quite nice to just not be like online or put my phone down for like four, three hours. <laughs> Not so in TikTok. Yeah. Um, but then we've been technology heavy the rest of the day. Sam's been playing his game that he's pretty obsessed with, I would say. Yeah. Um, and I have been editing a YouTube video and then watching YouTube after I'd finished that. And Ted has been sleeping. He's been a good little sleepy boy. As he does. And now he's all awake. <sighs> Full of beans. Full of beanage. Ready to go. Yeah. I'd say sorry it's been a, a, a slow weekend, weekend, but yeah. we've enjoyed it. I think we've enjoyed it because of the constant chaos that I have going on. Yeah, so because obviously, well you'll know, Sam's had a billion gigs over the summer. I'm really happy mm. about it. Can you tell him my tone of voice? Um, he's had Such a million... life. <laughs> I know. He's had a million gigs, so it means that every weekend we've had to like either plan around his gigs or not be able to plan anything for us to do. Um, so it's actually quite nice to have a couple of weekends now where we don't have to do anything. We yes. can just take it at our own pace and chill and do whatever we want. Like we spontaneously went to the garden centre yesterday, spontaneously went to the cafe. Like it was quite nice to just not have a plan, just chill out and know do whatever we fancied like tonight the plan wasn't to go on the computers but that's just what we fancied doing so it's quite nice to just hang out and be together chilling rather than doing a million things so that's what we've done anyway ted's enjoyed his being at home can you pop it yeah. ted has actually since his surgery that it's that one past week. on his lower regions He's actually calmed down a, a lot, I would say. Like, he's gone from like an 11 out of 10 to maybe like a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Which Working for Ted, Ted terms. he's not demonstrating it now. But yeah, that's a lot for Ted. Ted is normally a million degrees all the time. Zoom, zoom, everything must be zoom, crazy zoom, all the time. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And he's been a bit chilled. 
Which is actually Tedder quite nice, Ted Bean. You've been a good boy, haven't you? And he's been like settling on his bed better on his own. <laughs> he still yeah. wants to be on the sofa all the time, but. Still wants to be on you. Yeah. I demonstrated just moments ago. He's been barking less. He still barks, but it's like quiet barks. <laughs> Yeah, so Ted's doing all right. Rabbits are all right, by the way. I know you've had no rabbit content this week, but they're just chilling. <laughs> That's what they do. They're the easiest pets in the world. You feed them, yeah, you water them, you clean them out. The bit babs. The bit babs. Should we go feed the bit babs for tea time? The bit babs. Don't bits? ask why we call them bit babs. I don't, it I don't just know started. Because I, I think it's because I started calling them the bit bop bit babs. I don't know where that came from. You never know, do you? I think it came from. But that's what Ted knows them as. Should we go feed the bit baps? Go on then. Go feed the bit baps. Go on then. You've seen it done before now. Come on then, let's go. And he knows, like he's going to go downstairs now. Yeah, he's gone. See, to feed the rabbits. I'll just demonstrate. I'll just demonstrate. Come with me. Come with me. That our dog knows what a bit bap is and that a bit bap indicates a rabbit. Hi. Are you going to go feed the bit baps? You feed them then. Come on then. Should we feed the bit baps? Come on then. See your nose. See, that's the rabbit door. See, clever dog. I mean, we have had him nearly two years and we have fed the rabbits and said, should we go feed the bit baps every... Here we go. Let me show you, show you said bit bap. It's dark. Hello, hello. See, they're still alive. They're still happy. They're still pooping. You know, standard behaviour. Standard rabbit behaviour. Yes, I'm going to get you some food. Yes, yes. Anyway, call it there. Feed the rabbits, as I've said a million times that I'm going to do, but I haven't actually done. And, um, yeah, call it a night. So I hope you have a... Well, this will be out on a Tuesday, so I hope you have a had a lovely weekend. And have a great week and you fulfil all your hopes and dreams and expectations. <laughs> and yeah, um, obviously if you like the vlogs, feel free to subscribe, you know, and do us a favour, subscribe. Um, if you want to check out our allotment or gardening vlogs, I will link that somewhere on the screen. Um, and if you don't, that's okay. I won't be offended if you're not bothered. <laughs> And yeah, thank you again for watching. Sometimes our weekends are like this. It's quite nice to just relax and chill. But then some weekends we will do exciting stuff. So if you stay tuned, you never know. You never know what you're gonna get, like bags of chocolates. So anyway, yes, bedtime. Bedtime for all, isn't it? Even you, even you've gotta to go to bed. Oh. Oh, classic. Say bye-bye. Ted, come here. Say bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>